Prove that sin inverse of 8 by 17 plus sin inverse of 3 by 5 equal to tan inverse of 77 divided by 36. Okay. So in the left hand side we have two functions. Okay. In terms of sin inverse. But in the right hand side we have only one function in terms of tan inverse. Okay. So left side la. Namakku vandhu rendu function irukku sin inverse la. Okay. Sin inverse of 8 by 17 and sin in inverse of 3 by 5. In the mother rendu function irukku. But in the right hand side la vandhu there is only one function. So in the sin inverse function na nama vandhu tan inverse function are convert panna polam. Okay. So we are going to convert the sin inverse into tan inverse. Let us see how to convert it in step by step. Okay. So first one x equal to sin inverse of 8 by 17. Abdi nedutthu. Adha one nama tan inverse of convert panna polam. Okay. First we assume x equal to sin inverse of 8 by 17. Uh, okay. So x equal to sin inverse of 8 by 17 let it be equation number 1 ok so now moving this sin inverse to this side it becomes sin x equal to 8 by 17 so by using the cos x equal to square root of 1 minus sin square x formula we can find the value of cos x if we know the value of sin x so cos x equal to square root of 1 minus 8 divided by 17 the whole square so next step is is equal to square root of 1 minus 8 squared will be equal to 64 17 squared will be equal to 289 now taking LCM square root of 1 into 289 will be equal to 289 minus 64 the whole divided by 289 so that is equal to square root of 289 minus 89 289 minus 64 will be equal to 225 okay so that is equal to square root of 225 divided by 289 so cos x equal to 15 squared will be equal to 225 15 into 15 will be equal to 225 and 17 squared will be equal to 289 okay so taking square root cos x becomes 7 15 divided by 17 okay now we can write tan x equal to sin x divided by cos x so plug in the values of sin x and cos x so 8 divided by 17 the whole divided by the value of cos x is 15 divided by 17 so the next step is 8 divided by 17 into and there is reciprocal of this 17 into 15 17 divided by 15 okay 17 17 gets cancelled remaining we have 8 by 15 so tan x equal to 8 by 15 so x equal to from this we can write x equal to this tan x goes to, tan goes to this side so it becomes tan inverse of 8 by 15 okay so x equal to tan inverse of 8 by 15 this is equation number okay so in equation 1 the value of x is sin inverse of 8 by 17 but in equation 2 the value of x is tan inverse of 8 by 17 okay so by using equation 1 and 2 we can write x equal to sin inverse of 8 by 17 equal to tan inverse of 8 by 15 which means the value of 8 by sin inverse of 8 by 17 will be equal to the value of tan inverse of 8 by 15 okay now take the second sin inverse function okay this function as y so now y is equal to y equal to sin inverse of 3 by 5 so sin y moving this sin inverse to this side it becomes sin y equal to 3 by 5 so using the formula cos y equal to square root of 1 minus sin squared y plug in the value of sin y 
that is equal to square root of 1 minus 3 by 5 the whole squared so that is equal to square root of 1 minus 9 by uh, 25 okay taking LCM it becomes square root of 25 minus 9 the whole divided by 25 so that is equal to square root of 16 divided by 25 so 4 divided by 5 okay cos y equal to uh, 16 4 divided by 5 so tan y is equal to sin y divided by cos y okay tan y equal to sin y divided by cos y the value of sin y is 3 by 5 and the value of cos y is 4 by 5 so the next step is 3 by 5 into reciprocal of the denominator 5 by 4 okay 5 5 gets cancelled the balance we have 3 by 4 okay so tan y is equal to 3 by 4 so from this we can write y equal to tan inverse of 3 by 4 okay so y is equal to tan inverse of 3 by 4 this is equation number 4 okay in equation 3 we have y is equal to sin inverse of 3 by 4 3 by 5 and in equation 4 the value of y is tan inverse of 3 by 4 so by from equation 3 and 4 we can write y is equal to sin inverse of 3 by 5 which is equal to tan inverse of 3 by 4 which means the value of 3 by 5 will be equal to the value of tan inverse of 3 by 4 okay now we can replace the sin inverse of 8 by 17 by using tan inverse of 8 by 15 and sin inverse of 3 by 5 avandhi, tan inverse of 3 by 4 ala replace pannu. okay so in the given problem the value of LHS is sin inverse of 8 by 17 plus sin inverse of 3 by 5 okay so in the sin inverse of 8 by 17 ikku padal nama kandu sin inverse of 18 by 8 by 17 oda value tan inverse of 8 by 15 adhe madri sin inverse of 3 by 5 oda value tan inverse of 3 by 4 okay now using the formula tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y equal to tan inverse of x plus y the whole divided by 1 minus xy okay use this identity so here we have this is this will be considered as x and this 3 by 4 will be considered as y okay so that is equal to tan inverse of x plus y the value of x is 8 by 15 and the value of y is 3 by 4 okay now plug in the values in this equation it becomes tan inverse of x value of x is 8 by 15 plus y 3 by 4 divided by 1 minus x y x value is 8 by 15 into 3 by 4 okay so the next step is tan inverse of 8 into 4 32 8 into 4 32 15 into 3 45 15 into 4 60 15 into 4 60 60 into 1 60 minus 8 into 3 24 the whole divided by 60 okay taking LCM so next step tan inverse of 32 plus 45 so next step is equal to tan inverse of 77 by 60 the whole divided by 6 36 divided by 60 okay tan inverse of 77 divided by 60 the whole divided by 36 divided by 60 so that is equal to tan inverse of 77 divided by 60 into 60 divided by 36 so 60 60 gets cancelled remaining we have tan inverse of 77 divided by 36 so that is equal to rhs okay